I don't know, I guess I just didn't... I don't know, I kind of don't count Choco for some reason. Ouch, he feels different some way. Well, the rest of these guys are optional fights, but um, I'll go ahead and at least show me exploring and then running into these fights. You lot! One peep out of you! One little bow peep out of you! Ah! She's gone, guys! She's she's gone. We were alone, my daughter and I. We had no idea what would become of us. Thank you again. She actually didn't say again. And then this girl's dead. So I can I can still the revive that she was protecting with her dear life. What else is around here? Oh, we got oh. Uh. <laughs> hey now, this is where you we keep props. We can't have anyone getting hurt. <laughs> uh huh. I wonder who's going to be the one beating. Huh? What do you want, kids? Stay out of the way. Blech. So during that time, Vulpix uh took over for um Voltor because Voltor fainted, and I think Shadow Wave actually does use the special stat. I mean, I didn't really feel like I had good enough subjects to try it on because I was, you know, fighting a Toga Tick. But I, th I think it might just use the special stat. Anyway, what do you have to say? What was that about? I thought they were filming some special effects scenes. Oh. Okay. Just be oblivious then. What about you? No one seemed to mess with you. My goodness, what racket. I wish they'd keep it a little quieter. Yeah, a bunch of assholes, aren't they? Well, let me go ahead and save. Because obvious reasons. I'm practicing what I'm preaching. At least, at least I'm remembering this time. I'm not catching any super close calls. Voltorb seems to be dying. He's dropping like fly, though. I mean, to be fair, he is not meant to be a physical attacker when that's all he's doing. Oh, hi. <laughs> These guys so were suddenly came here. I knew what really mean. I tried to make them stop, but... 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 Hi. Hold it, I can't let you get past here. Well, why not? I'll be nice. I won't tell... Oh, I thought his name was Fellas. I was gonna be so happy. <laughs> Cypher Fellas. Hey, Fellas. That's, that's so stupid, but it's so great. <laughs> why can't they just put in joke names like that? Like, what if there was a guy in the game named Angus? Like, that would make me happy. That would be so funny. You know, like, the bird meat. I actually think it's really funny, the idea that Spark is considered a more powerful attack than Thundershock. Because you'd think Spark would be, like, the weakest, but it's, like, 65 power. And then Thundershock is, like, 30 or 40 or something like that. Dabber's got his shit messed up. When I was little, I used to think the most powerful attacks, period, were always the beam, so I thought side beam was the strongest, and ice beam was. I knew fire blast was strongest. Uh, thunder I knew was strongest. I think I imagined earthquake was strongest, too, I'm not sure. I didn't know shit about what strong fighting moves were, I still barely know. These fighting moves are all over the place. Yeah, let's, let's try again with the, um, with our pal Vulpix right here because Macavita is probably gonna die just as quickly. Um, we'll, we'll bite him and then we'll do that. Okay, so that killed the shit out of him. <laughs> like that really killed him. So yeah, Mayday is a, a bit over. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy's got a shadow ball. A shadow vaults. Which means again it's weak to dark, which means again I gotta be careful. Which is again another good reason I've got pursuit. Oh no, my little world's face. Oh no, my flaffy brain. Yeah, so like I'm, I don't know if like I just I'm pretty sure Flappy's just not defensive, period. So it's making it hard. Like if I was fighting a Geo dude, I'd be able to figure it out because it would be like, oh, well, that didn't do much damage to a Geodude. Obviously, it's a physical attack. Oh, that did a lot of damage to Geodude. Obviously, a special attack. Like, you see how easy... Oh, my God. 
Okay, well I guess we'll uh, try quick attack and see how delicate it wants to be, and we'll shadow hold it so it, it, it doesn't switch to anyone else. Wow. There we go. Okay, so I've been casually using Mud Slap on Ralts to weaken it down. I decided Baltoid would probably be the safer alternative to using this. So we're going to go ahead and give Catching Ralts a go now. <laughs> I don't think it can be... Shadow Panic. Oh yeah, that's the one that causes confusion. I don't think it's really any way I can chip it down any lower without killing it. I don't remember Ralts being this difficult to catch or this delicate, so... <laughs> Pardon me. Sweet. Alright, well, hey, I caught it at least, and that's what matters. Also, as a result, Bulbs are pretty cl damn close to being purified now. It won't take much longer. But before progressing on, I do think it is a good idea that we go ahead and save and then heal as well. So, what I'm going to do is what? Thanks for having those creeps suddenly showed up and then threw me away from my bulkout spot. Whoops, who cares about that? The creeps took Meg, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Now then. Whoa. You moved. I didn't expect that. Let's go inside. Now, hand over the data wrong. Of all the people to collect it, it had to end up with you. The whiz of data analysis. I wouldn't... do to let you keep it. That feels like a really weird sentence. Alright, keep your hands off my sister, the data ROM is here. Good boy. You catch on real quick. Toss the data ROM, nice and easy now. Okay, I'll thank you for returning the data ROM. By the way, let me guess. Are you maybe thinking it doesn't matter because you've already copied the data? Captain, we finished completely scrubbing the data from the Onbus servers. It's all gone, sir. What? That's why I wasn't worried. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Well, thanks for being such a great sport, but we've got to go. Here's your sister back. She could have just ran over there at any time, really. <laughs> Meg, are you alright? What are you doing there, punk? I hate to be rude, but I've got no time to lose. Get out of my way. Well, I hate to be rude, but I don't care. Because I gotta beat you up and stuff. Because that's what it's do. This guy's all muscular and he's a he's a higher rank than the other guys. He's like a boss that's not a boss. Draft rigs is like, yeah. I decided, because Voltorb's almost ready to be purified, we're gonna go ahead and let Vulpix do this, and we can just go ahead and give um, Voltorb a scent when we're done so he'll be ready for purification. And then we can get him purified with the rest of the guys. And that uh, should do it, really. We've got another complete set to purify and then yeah. Ow, don't step oh my god, that was so painful. Poor Vulpix. And again, I don't really know how these guys are stat wise either, so I can't really say one way or the other. I'm amazed that drive there lived period thinking about it, jeez man. I am quite leveled. <laughs> Alright, here it is. That's my other member. I know, a really, really bad Pokemon, as most people consider. But I find him really incredibly useful for this game's purpose. So as a result, I'm going to use him. Mostly for one move in particular. And yes, I'm aware other Pokemon learn the move too, and other, other ones are capable of using it. But, like, he's the earliest one that gets it. And then from there, it's like, well, why even bother switching out to anyone else, period. Then. So, for that reason, I say we stick with Mawile. Defensively, he's really good. Attack-wise, he's not so much. But you know what? He doesn't need to be, because this game doesn't want you to be, because you're going to be over-leveling like shit anyway. At least if you play this way, which I've noticed seems to be the way you're supposed to go through it, is to just not try or care at all, and you do fine. Ironically, it works the exact same with Generation 2. Ow, my delicate face! 
Oh, he's got another one, a Raichu? Alright, well fine, I'll, I'll take care of your Raichu. I don't know why you sent out the Mawile before the Raichu. The Mawile is supposed to be the last thing. Oh, a Seismic Toss, that's a dangerous attack for this. I mean, unless you're using on Mate. Well, no, because Mate 8, that's probably the strongest thing anything's ever hit Mate 8 with, period, actually. Next, maybe the Leech Seed that killed it. Go ahead, Shadow Rush, see if I care. Ow, that, I actually do care. That was really quite powerful. <laughs> oh my god! Duskull, do something about it. Yeah, I'll just weave my arms around in the air. Alright, well, he's a steel type, but it doesn't matter. I think it is. I think it uses a special stat. Because Raichu's crap. Physical. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay, we're gonna bite, and then we're. No, we're not going to Pokemon. We're going to waste a super potion that's right here. I was looking for it and kept looking right past it. So there. Now we get to keep fighting because we do want to keep May around as long as possible. Um, I guess the best way to take out the Mawile would probably be to use Quick Attack because, well, it's not going to be doing much, you know. I'm probably still going to die here, aren't I? I mean, Ball Toy should still be able to hold its own ground against it. It's not that much of a level difference, only two. As for Mayday, it's like, I don't know, six. I don't want a chance biting it just because of the stupid rolls, so we're just going to use Persuading, and then we'll Shadow Wave, and that should finish off the Raichu. But first, he's gonna hurt us. Well, maybe not so much. I just realized I'm paralyzed, that's why I'm not going earlier. Ow, my Raichu face! Oh no, my Raichu face. Goodbye, world. So now we get to focus completely on the Mawa and make sure we get it. So now, after catching it, I'm going to put my sole purpose on trying to get the Bastard purified as quick. Oh my god, he's actually really standing up to it then. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he could survive a bite, if that's the case. Because that's not going to be that much different. Oh, don't do that. I need to kill you. The only thing we really gotta be afraid of when using him is like fire types and ground types, and that's about it. Fighting types, I mean, they're still able to be feared, but just I wouldn't say as much. Yeah, no, dude, he's doing he's doing good. See, the whole not very effective thing kind of works to my advantage, so so I'm gonna be taking advantage of that, and we'll just we'll just super potion mayday again so we can keep this going on. Uh huh. You're not gonna beat me. I got super potions to waste and you to catch. You know what? I'm really glad I tried Pursuit first and realized he could take a hit. Thank you, Trivial Pursuit for Kids. <laughs> You've taught me it's okay to bite steel. Which actually really misleads me. Like, he doesn't look like he'd be a steel type at all. He looks like he would be a dark type, but no. The motherfucker's steel. I don't know what part of him steel. I don't know how he's steel, but he's steel. This bite's gonna be cutting it actually kinda close. Well, fuck you too! There. Now he's in the red. Now let's give this another go. Now one thing I don't know why I haven't said yet, but it should be pretty obvious, is that um, Shadow Pokemon only use Shadow Attacks. So, he'll never use his other attacks, because, well, they don't want you to figure out what it is. So, it's just a thing to note. So, if you're trying to catch a shadow, and you're having a tough time, and you just want something to, you know, stand a wall, then that's why it's advised to have multiple shadows out there. It's this way, it can only, like, use shadow attacks against you, and it's not going to be doing much damage. But we got them all wild this time. So, it's fine. Those three restarts have kind of taking a toll on time. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> That's right, you better be sad. I just hurt your feelings. Drat! I didn't see his coming. But I got what I came for. I don't need this. I don't need to stick around. I've got the data wrong. Adios! Oh, no! Now what? Are you okay? Not there on analysis was finished. Still, from what I did manage to decrypt part of Cypher's kernel plan, it became clear. For instance, Cypher 
behind the disappearance of the cargo ship, the SS Libra, which was the ship at the beginning. There's more. Cypher is planning a major attack on Phoenix City. Oh no, is that true? <laughs> Mercy's gone off to Phoenix City. Oh, is that what she did? It looked like she was storming off because she's like, No, you don't pay me enough! She said she was going to investigate why the town's communication systems are down. Why well, Cypher could, be atta could attack at any time. We need your help. Please, could you inform the mayor of Phoenix that about Cypher's attack? Well, as long as it's not the mayor of the last game, Phoenix is over here. Alright, well, I guess that's all that. <laughs> Phoenix was the part where I was like, you know what? I'll do that the next, set, the next session. In which case, I think that's a good idea because I feel like my commentary's kind of gone down now. So, what we will do is we will heal, and then I will meet you at Agate. So we can go ahead and purify those guys that we do have. And I'll be sure to put a... We'll focus more on Claptrap and head off to Phoenix and all that. So, see you in a second. There we go. Old Herb can now be purified. I didn't even have to waste a cent. Okay, so I went ahead and dumped Makuhita inside the purified chamber because we still have five other shadows that we need to carry around with us. So... We'll have a full team, and we can get rid of this full team of shadows, and then there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. So I know I said I wasn't sure how I was going to do with the purifying, but I don't feel like this time it's taken much effort at all. Like, we've still only gotten to the point where it's like it's early in the game, we're doing one team at a time, which is nice, and the purification process isn't taking up that much space, and it's kind of a nice end of the session thing. But when it does get to the point where it's like there's so much, then that'll probably be when I stop showing it. But I mean, for the moment, it doesn't really bother me that far. Like, again, this has gone by really fast. Yeah. Gulp and gained. Shockwave. I don't know why he has shockwave. And sing. I definitely don't know why I has sing. Did the game freeze? Okay, no. And of course, as you saw, I didn't get any experience at all. Um, yeah. So, we'll be set up, um, after I'm done, of course, we will also do the off-screen shopping and preparations for the next session. Holy shit, he's got the Venn Diagram Shadow yet again. Let's see how much Voltorb got, because I feel like Voltorb was one that was kind of mirror coat. See, like, that's a move that you'd never see with a Voltorb. It's so obtuse. That's like, yeah, I can learn it, but the odds of it learning it are really, really low. <laughs> so... I don't quite get it. He was a bit of a challenge to actually get purified, but I mean... I, I think he got plenty of experience from it, at least. I was almost worried he was going to evolve. Carvana! Um... Yeah, I don't really know what more to say, really. Like, again, I'm kind of drained now, because I'm pretty sure the recording's up to maybe about two hours now. It was doing this weird thing where it's like, oh, hey, and it's, it's halfway doing it? It's like my voice is only half there. But before, it was like my voice was barely there at all. I hope nothing's screwed up with the commentary. That kind of annoys me. Because, you know, it's usually like, Oh, hey, it's JCR time. He's all loud and stuff. And then it was like, Oh, hey, maybe not. <laughs> oh, Alright, two more to go. And that's it. Oh, another thing that I am going to do is after... um. I end the part off. I'm also going to see if I can fill up another purified chamber with some of these purified guys. Since now we've got, you know, an extra six to work with. So hopefully by the end of this I'll at least have a second chamber ready. And I would advise trying to do that after every time you purify a few of them. Is to see if you can't get lucky and fill up another chamber. So this way, you know, you can work on some others multiple at a time. And it, you did see how quickly they did get purified so oh I didn't want to nickname it like it didn't take that much at all really I told you when I put Shroomish in and then you saw when he was done so it's a relatively quick process and then when you have nine of them at a time getting purified that fast it's kind of insane but I mean it is a fair balance for the amount of shadows they do put in the game so what do you have for us false swipe Okay, so falls he's the first one who learns it. But I don't like Shroomish, so I don't care. That's the move that uh, Mawile will get 
if you um, purify it. And what False Swipe does is it does damage, but it will always, always leave it with at least one health left, which is super great, because you can just, you know, over-level and then False Swipe it, and then when it's a shadow, guess what? It'll always be at, at one health, so there's no way you could possibly, like, wreck it. It's great. Like, I can't get over it enough. And that's kind of why I like Mawile so much, and, well, I feel like he's probably just better than Breloom. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. That's pretty much all there is to say on it. Um, I'll see you guys later with the next session of XD, when we go to Phoenix City and then see what's up with what's going down. Until then, Jay's 4 see you guys later. I got a piece so fucking bad, dude.